Hey everybody, what's going on? We're back with some raid. I uh, I apologize that it's been so long since I've made a raid video. I know I told you guys I was not quitting content for raid, and then I just got caught up in the other stuff I was doing, um, and haven't made a raid video. But I, I I did not quit completely. I have not played much raid, but I'm still involved with the community. I'm still in the streams. I'm still keeping up with what's going on. And like I said, I'm not leaving. I just slowed down for a minute, took a step back, and uh, but you know, I figured this was a good time to jump back in and give you guys an update on what I am aware of anyway that's been going on with the information I've been given. Uh, there are some changes coming. Now, this is going to be, inadvertently, this is going to have some, some slight rant elements. It's not a rant video. What I'm really going here to do is go over the details of the new champions that are coming out. What they're doing is, I don't know exactly when, but I do know that at some point they are going to be extending the daily login reward system to 180 days. Now, a little bit of one of those rant elements I was talking about here. This game's been out for a year, and there is still no real rotating daily login system. Extending it to 180 days, we're talking about six months now. There are six months of daily login rewards. That's just aggravating, right? Traditionally, it's on a monthly rotation, and at the end of that month, you usually get whatever the equivalent of a sacred shard would be in one of these games. Um, sometimes it's a little different. Sometimes you get different things, but that is generally a good option. So at least once a month, you get a free shard or whatever just for logging in you get an opportunity to pull something now i know we have them in our missions and i know that there's a battle pass now but these things do not supplement what daily logins are supposed to be where you log in and you receive something for it okay a lot of games have daily logins they've got a daily witch system where you can randomly get something from that there's a lot of different ways that games reward you for logging in every day raid does not do that at all at least on a regular ongoing basis. So what's going to happen now is this update's going to drop. Everybody's going to start back at 90 days, no matter how long you've been playing, and you're going to have to go another three months before you get all the rewards from the new daily login system. It is a severely flawed system. It is it is really aggravating. The rewards are not really even that good, to be honest. Uh, I, now it ends with a legendary, but we're talking about six months of logging in daily. If you don't miss a day for six months, you'll get this legendary. So... Uh, I guess we should go ahead and talk about her first. Her skin, she looks very cool. As usual, the art team kills it. I, I can't knock their their talents there. She looks awesome. Her her kit, her A1, attacks one enemy, has a 20% chance of placing a speed break for two turns, also has a chance of decreasing turn meter by 15%. I'm assuming... Um, I'm assuming they're looking for a little bit of spider utility here with, with this hero, which I'm saying hero now with this champion, which I'll applaud again six months before you get her. <laughs> I just, I don't know. A2 attacks all enemies two times. Each hit has a 20% chance of placing a stun for one turn. Now with skill ups, hopefully that gets a little better. 20% is low, even though it is AOE. It gives her, again, some, some potential to make Spider a little bit easier. Uh, we, you know, Over time, people have figured out that if you crowd control the Spiderlings, you have a much easier time in Spider, right? So we've got Turn Meter Knockback for the boss, we've got a Slow, and we've got an AoE Stun. There's some, there's some potential here, right? Uh, she has her A3, revives an ally with 50% HP, and places 50% ally protection on them for two turns. Not a bad little skill, has has utility in a few different places. Could be nice. And then uh, I guess this is a, I'm, I'm assuming this is a passive. Heals all allies by 10% of their max HP at the start of each turn. Also places a speed buff on a random ally for two turns every turn. That's a pretty good passive heal. Heal 10% of their own max HP at the start of every one of her turns. You get her fast, you get her turn cycling, you get her on a relentless set even. Uh, that's pretty good support. So as far as she goes, she's not a bad champion. My gripe has not <laughs> ever really been the quality of the champions they put out. It's it's just that they're they're resting on 
putting out champions, right? There's there's not really any content here. Again, we, you know, we got this last update that has the battle pass, which in and of itself is fine, but the update contained no content. Now we're talking about another update that doesn't actually contain any content, right? You're getting the whale gear in 1.13.5 or whatever it is. You're getting the whale gear for Platinum Arena, and then we're getting extended daily login rewards. They're... they're they're not adding any content, right? Very aggravating. We all know I'm aggravated. I know all you are, are aggravated too. This is not supposed to be a rant. I really just wanted to talk about these new champs and let you know about the daily login. So let's move on and talk about the epics. I don't know. We don't have any art. I don't have any art for the epics. I don't know if anyone else does. I don't have any information about them except their skills. So I don't know their faction. I don't know their affinity. I don't know what they look like. So, we'll just talk about their skill kit and see what we think. Epic number one. Attacks one enemy, decreases max HP by 30% of the damage inflicted. <laughs> okay. A2. Places 50% attack buff on this champion for two turns, then attacks all enemies. 50% chance of putting a speed break on everybody. That's not bad. Self buff and then AoE attacks. Pretty nice. Instantly removes any freeze debuffs on this champion and replaces him with a 30% increased crit rate buff, a 30% increased damage buff, and a 15% strengthen buff whenever an enemy places a freeze debuff on this champion. So that's a passive. Seems like a direct counter to Tormund. Someone definitely designed to interrupt Tormund. Could be nice against some others. That, that, that's Yeah, that's very blatantly a Tormund counter. Increased crit rate, increased crit damage, and a strength and buff. That's really strong for an epic. That's really strong for an epic. Direct Tormund counter. And then another passive, I guess, fills this champion's turn meter by 25% and instantly activates the skill name, skill, whenever this champion or an ally re receives a freeze buff. Does, is it talking about the other passive? Maybe not. Maybe it's talking about this. I don't know. I don't know which skill name it's talking about there, but very clearly someone to come in and deal with Tormund. They, they, they are very clearly focusing on adding things to the game that, <laughs> that make Tormund less of a problem. So that is definitely what this, what this epic is for. Second epic. I haven't looked at these, by the way. Y'all are, are seeing me look at these for the first time as well, so uh, I just, just want to throw that out there. Epic number two. Attacks one enemy two times, places an extra hit if the target is under a heal reduction buff. Places two extra hits if the target's under a 100% heal reduction buff. Okay. Attacks one enemy has a 75% chance of putting a speed break. Decreases the target's turn meter by 20% if the speed break is placed. Okay. That's an A2, though. Places 30% reflect damage and a continuous heal buff on all allies. Okay, that's nice. A little bit of a little bit of Fire Knight utility there, maybe. Reflect damage with continuous heals is not bad. We'll see what the affinity is, and we'll see, we'll, we'll see what all that stuff is. But uh, th th that's a quick glimpse, anyway, at the new heroes, and it's my understanding that they're all going to be part of the new daily login reward. So uh, this, this legendary... We'll be coming at the end, at the at day 180, and then these guys are, are going to be peppered in, I assume, at, um, you know, the, the other the other intervals, but maybe 120, 150, 180, something like that. So uh, that's it. That's that's a look at what we have coming. Again, I don't really have any other information on, on any actual content for the game. There's still a lot of things that they've been talking about for a really long time, but... I just, I don't know that they're even on the horizon. You know, we're still waiting on Void Tower. They've been talking about an extra clan boss for a while. They've been talking about a damage counter on clan boss for a while. Uh, they teased artifact sorting. I, I think they teased that to try to appease everybody because everything was, was so rough for them for, for a minute. There's no telling when that's going to come out, but we don't have any reason to believe it's anytime soon. Um... 
So yeah, I don't know. The, the state of things for Raid right now is really tough. You know, it's it's tough. Like I said, I don't really have much of a desire to play it. I'm, I'm still very interested in being a part of the community. I'm hanging out in Verdi's stream a lot. And when the other guys are streaming, I'm in the streams and I'm keeping up. Uh, you know, I'm still in the content creator chat. And I'm, I'm following everything just as closely as I ever was. I just don't have much of an interest <laughs> in playing right now. So uh, we, we will see what ends up with happening with that. I would love... I would love for Raid to turn it around. I have lost the hope that they're going to, but of, of course I don't want it to fail, you know? I, I, I would love it if, if Plarium would figure it out and turn things around and, and, and make this game what it should be because, again, it, it could be such a really, really good game if they'll get their priorities straight. So that's it. Let me know what you guys think about the new... Champs, they definitely seem interesting. That Epic 1, particularly, hard, hard Tormund counter. Th th those are interesting passes. And then the new Lego potentially makes Spider a little bit more doable for free-to-play people uh, after six months straight of logging in every day. <laughs> so <laughs> there you have it. I, I, I would love to know what you guys think. Again, I apologize that it's taken me so long to get another raid video up. I will try to be better about that moving forward. Uh, you know, getting some raid stuff up occasionally. Uh, got some skits I'm working on. Maybe a new DJ RNG track sometime soon. Like I said, I'm not gone. I've just slowed down the actual playtime in raid. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting me and and let me play other games and 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 still do well with that. That that means a lot to me. It's it's really nice to know I'm not stuck in one game. Uh, it's nice to know that I can bounce around and you guys will be interested. So, I appreciate that. Shout out to everybody that's supporting me. I appreciate it. If you want to come catch me at a stream, twitch.tv slash jgigs, 6 p.m. Eastern most weeknights. That's it. I'm done rambling. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.